guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm filming probably one of my favorites and one of your favorite type of videos. I'm doing another Kylie lip kit review and swatch video. And I'm really excited because I finally was able to get my hands on brown sugar, which is one of the three new shades that she just released. This one in particular, she claimed that it was perfect for a woman of color. And I was like, you know what? Let's put this to the test. Is it really like the perfect nude color? Because I love Kylie's formula and just her product and everything. You guys know, like, I've purchased a lot from Kylie Cosmetics and I honestly like love everything. I always give you guys my true opinion, exactly how I'm feeling. So I'm very excited to do this for you guys and see how it comes out. And I'm very interested to see how this compares to Dolce K on me. So I'll make sure to insert a swatch of it on my hand so you guys can kind of see the difference. I already opened the box because I was so excited to get this. So if you guys are interested to see basically how like they come when you ship and open them in unboxing, I basically do that in my Ginger Posey K one, my Dolce K one, and also my birthday unboxing one. So I'll make sure to link those below. If you haven't seen them, you should go check them out. So as you guys know, or if you don't, I always use chapstick before I put on my swatches because normally with a liquid lipstick, it goes on liquidy and then dries and it just stays there all day. And so if you don't have a good solid moisturized base underneath, your lips just feel cracky and dry the whole day. I love the EOS one because they finally have made it into an actual tube and this is the minty flavor, it's my favorite. I'm just gonna put that on right before application. And the other great thing about Kylie Cosmetic products is that it has such a creamy liner that you can have chapstick on before and you still get the color you want. Let's see if it really is an everyday nude for brown skin. Because Justine Sky looked so good in it, you guys. If you haven't seen that picture, I'm gonna insert this here like, she was giving me life and I'm like, if this color looks bomb on her, I know it's gonna look good on me. And I'm gonna be looking down into my mirror right now to put on the liner. So this is just the lip liner on me and my first kind of impression is that it basically matches my lip color so it's almost hard to see it. So I'm hoping that when I actually put the lipstick on it's gonna be a tad darker just so it gives a little more color and looks like, oh, she has something on her lips. As you guys can see, this is a comparison between brown sugar and Dolce K. So Dolce K is much more of like a mauve light brown and brown sugar is definitely a darker brown, but not like true brown K. Mm, it still smells like cupcakes, you guys, bomb. So I allowed this to dry for a couple of minutes and my first like impression of it is I love this color. Like this is popping, okay? This is what I call an everyday nude for brown skin. Honestly, it's about time that Kylie got her game together and gave us brown girls a nude. Thank you. Love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Probably one of my favorite Kylie lip kits. Um, there are so many times where I'm like, I wish I had a nude color. Dolce K is too light for me. True Brown K is too dark for what I want. Ginger is too orange, you know. Brown sugar is popping, yes. Thank you, Kylie, okay. Just to kind of let you guys know what foundation shade I am in, this is uh, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, and I'm in the shade 177. And this is actually my summer color, so it's slightly darker. It probably matches more my neck and my shoulders. Um, but I do use this color, and I mix it with the Cover FX, and these are the custom cover drops. And these are in the shade N80. So everyone always asks me, okay, like what foundation do you use? And these are the two that I use daily. In the Maybelline Fit Me, I'm in the shade Spicy Brown, but once again, that's my summer color, so it's a tad bit darker. And then in the Bare Minerals Bare Skin, I'm in the shade Bare Almond. And whenever I use the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream, I'm in the shade Dark. So that just kind of gives you a range of what my foundation shade is and stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like these types of videos and to comment any video requests you guys have for me below. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I hope you stick around and enjoyed. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye you guys.